Hi friend and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys how I make this barbecue jerk chicken pasta. I almost didn't show it to you guys but I had to do it. Stay tuned. Let's jump right into it. So here I have a pot of water and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some flavor to the water. I added one cube of chicken flavored bouillon. All right. And these are my nails. I really don't like them. I feel like the nail tech um, is so basic. I'm trying this new nail tech, y'all. So I don't know. Y'all pray for me. All right. So here I, have, I went ahead and I let my water boil. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one box of panini pasta. I'm going to mix that all around and I'm going to let that boil. Once it's done boiling, I'm going to strain it and I'm going to put it back inside of the pot. And then after that, I'm going to just add some butter so the pasta do not stick together. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and set that to the side. So now it's time for us to handle our chicken. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut our chicken in half, okay? Because these are chicken breasts and they're too thick, okay? They're way too thick. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to cut them in the middle so we can cut them evenly um, into thinner slices, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that to all of our chicken. We're going to just go ahead and cut them right down the middle so we could get thinner pieces of chicken because those chicken pieces are way, way too thick, all right so when we're done doing that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove all the excess fat that we see on the chicken all that excess fat all that yellow stuff is excess fat we don't need that extra grease um so we're just gonna go ahead and dispose of that um if you like to keep it on there because you feel like it adds more flavor then you go ahead and you keep yours all right all right so after i'm done adding um removing all the excess fat that's on my chicken breast i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to tenderize my chicken okay so here i'm using the pilon that i have it's this haitian tool thingy it's called a pilon so you find whatever you can you could use a frying pan if you need to just find whatever you can in your kitchen so you can smack it just make sure it's clean and it's not something dirty okay so we go ahead we're gonna smack it smack it smack it and this is tenderizing the meat so when we're done doing that to all of our pieces we're gonna going to start cleaning our meats the Haitian way. So I'm going to use some um, lime juice. I use some organic lime juice. You don't have to use the organic one if you don't have it. I just have it so I choose to use it. Then I used one fresh lime and I'm just going ahead and making sure all of that lime get into that chicken breast because we want our meat to be clean and sanitized. Then we're going to go ahead and add some salt and this is also to sanitize the meat. If this is your first time watching my channel, this is typically how Haitians clean their meat. This is to clean not for seasoning okay then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rinse it off after approximately letting it sit for about five minutes all right so now we're gonna go ahead we're going to pat the chicken dry i put some napkins on the um, cutting board and i took some other napkins on my hand and i pat the chicken dry i did flip them on the other side and pat the other side dry as well okay all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna start adding my seasoning i'm gonna add some jerk seasoning to that i'm gonna go ahead and add that then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add my jerk marinade i'm gonna add some of that and don't worry you guys i will have the exact recipe for you in the description box below then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add one cube of chicken flavor bouillon maggie if you do not like to use maggie you can always use adobo all right so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix that all over until all that seasoning get into the chicken breast now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add a little more spice to it this is totally optional i'm gonna add a little bit like one one fourth teaspoon of um um cayenne and paprika and chili powder all right then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna give that bad boy a mix and um, i'm gonna set it to the side so that all the flavors could get in there while that's um marinating we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get our pot i have my big pot my biggest pot eddie okay this is eddie you guys hi eddie eddie this is the people so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put some butter on there then we're gonna start adding some bell peppers and some onions i cut mine up really small because the people in my family well my kids and the dude they don't really like 
um vegetables like that so but if i cut them really small i could get away with it okay so that's why i cut them up so small you could cut yours up however you so desire so i did put some bell peppers and some onions and then now i'm going ahead and i'm adding some broccoli for the broccoli i only want the top of the broccoli i don't want the stem so i'm gonna cut the stem off and i'm gonna just get the branches from the broccoli okay then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add that broccoli into the bell peppers and the onions and the butter and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix that all over we're gonna let that broccoli cook we're gonna let the um, bell peppers cook we're gonna let the onions cook then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna start adding a little bit of seasoning this right there is garlic paste so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put some garlic paste in there so i could give it some nice garlic flavor if you don't have garlic paste you could always um you can always use fresh garlic okay then i'm adding some garlic powder and i'm also adding some onion powder and i'm gonna mix everything together so the flavors could get in there and remember all those seasonings i just added are not salt based they're for flavor but they're not salt based so it's not adding salt okay so here i went ahead and i added my heavy whipping cream and i'm gonna add the whole container because i want a lot of um a lot of alfredo okay i want a lot of the the, the alfredo sauce okay then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add some of my philadelphia cream cheese the one with chives and onions yes i'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add this parmesan cheese right here this fuego parmesan cheese and i'm gonna add the whole container then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add some of that i'm gonna add about three tablespoons of the um shredded parmesan well that's not shredded that's the it's not shredded whatever you want to call it but yes the powdery one we're going to go ahead we're going to add that and we're going to mix it all together and we're going to let our sauce start to thicken up and get thicker than a snicker baby yes go ahead and mix it mix it occasionally and make sure you're mixing it all the way at the bottom and not just the top okay so here i went ahead and i added one teaspoon of salt okay be careful with your salt because you know we're also doing jerk the jerk have a lot of seasoning in it as well and you want when you want when you eat everything together you want everything to marry you want everything to be good okay so be careful so now we're gonna go ahead we're going to add our panini pasta that we cooked earlier and we're going to make sure we mix that all in there. And each piece is well coated with the Alfredo sauce, okay? Everything is well coated. Look at that thing. That thing already looking scrumptious. Yes, child. Woo! All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some um, adobo. I'm going to add about one fourth teaspoon of adobo just to give it a little more flavor, all right? Then I'm going to mix that bad boy in there so the flavors could go everywhere, okay? Everything could get some of that. Yes, baby. This thing about to be the bomb.com. Um, I guarantee it. All right. And just like that, our pasta is done. I'm going to leave it on a stove on low or like two so that it could just, you know, continue to thicken up a little bit. And yeah, but um, as far as right now, it's done. The pasta is done. So then we're going to go ahead. We're going to move to making the chicken because we want our chicken to be hot. Okay. You see, I got my heat at six. I always tell y'all in the description box, I have my, my heat at six, seven. So that's like, you know, a medium heat. All right. So here I have my chicken. I have some, I have, I'm using my cast iron eddy, which is my second biggest one i said cast iron my ninja it's actually a ninja frying pan i guess it's like a cast iron it's better if you ask me all right so i put some butter on there and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add the chicken and i'm gonna let the chicken cook you guys and then we're gonna go ahead and flip it when the chicken is cooked on the um, first side you're gonna let them cook for about three minutes on each side okay and this is the chicken is just so juicy the seasoning the jerk sauce is is very juicy this is some juicy behind chicken trust me all right and we're going to continue to do that to all of our chicken until we cooked all of our chicken and this is how our chicken look once it's nice and cooked it's so beautiful it's so juicy it's so tender it's oh it's, it's, it's just everything okay the beautiful white meat you can always cut your chicken up look at the color if it's not white and it's pink put it back on the stove and let it cook a little bit longer okay all right so here i started plating my stuff i got the pasta and the chicken and then i'm gonna go ahead and add my barbecue sauce so i like this capital city barbecue sauce that thing was expensive as hell y'all that little barbecue sauce was seven dollars seven dollars but it was a little too too spicy for me i don't know i ain't like it that much and um i had the other um barbecue sauce that i um that i purchased the um this one right here so i decided to mix them i felt like i would get a better flavor because i felt like the one in if one of them wasn't sweet enough and the other one was a little too spicy the capital one was a little too spicy and the other one was a little not um not sweet enough so i mixed them together and baby it was a god's blessing okay it was a 
perfect combination. And then I went ahead and I'm going to put that on the pasta like this, you guys. And baby, when I tell you this thing right here, this thing is fire. This is one of the best jerk chicken pastas that I have ever made, okay? I went to not share with you guys at first because I already have a jerk chicken pasta um, recipe on YouTube. But this one was so delicious and so different. The other one is good too, but this is just a different one that I had to share with you guys. I felt like it would be a sin for me to keep it to myself. And there you have it, you guys. Barbecue jerk chicken pasta. It don't get no better than that. Who child? I'm trying to tell you. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to comment. Do not forget to like. And most of all, do not forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.